Okay, this short tutorial video should allow S3 pupils who are accessing GLOW from home, or even if you're accessing GLOW in school, you can watch this short tutorial video to show you how to add a post to keep updating your ePortfolio. It can also allow parents to have a look at their, their child's ePortfolio or even add content to the folio. Um, the interface you're looking at at the moment, if you've successfully logged, logged on to GLOW, is called GLOW Lite. And from the conference morning that we had recently, you will have set up your own button that says My ePortfolio. So if we click on My ePortfolio, that will open up a new window and that will open up your ePortfolio that you created in school. From there, you would want to click on Add a Post and it's a new post. So click on New Post and it would take you to what's called the Dashboard. Now at this stage you have an opportunity to add a heading and you also have a, a larger area where you can put some, some text in there and what I would recommend uh, would be that you type out your post in Microsoft Word or Notepad and spell check it before you, you copy and paste it in here. So I'm just going to create up a, a post here. I'll just call it Victory for Alva. I have created a piece of uh, a text that I could add in as a, a post. I've done that or I've typed that up on Word and there it's there. I, I've added that in. At, that sta at this stage there's a few things that you can do just like any desktop publishing package. You can toggle between the full screen or this current view. So if you toggle before between full screen you can see it just shows a larger area if you've got more text. At this stage you can highlight text and you can make it bold or italic. Um, you can also, there's a, a, a facility here to spell check but I would recommend that you spell check on the, the computer uh, on Microsoft Word for it first. Toggle back to, to this view. Kitchen sink, which is this third one in from the right on the top here, allows you to change the, the size of the text, underline, uh, and also gives you the opportunity to have an alignment to the left in the centre or to the right. Okay. The next thing you would need to do is add a tag. Now, if you're not aware of what a tag is, um, then a tag uh, is a keyword that can be associated with this. So. I'm going to put in here football and make that add that as a tag. You can add more than one tag, so I think I'll add another word, victory. So those, these are the two tags that I'm creating here, and I'm also going to add some categories. Now, I would guess that the victory for Alva is a health and well-being category. You can tick more than one category in there. Uh, I'm also going to tick the working with others and I'm also going to tick the effective contributor box. From there you can then publish your post and you can go back to visit site Now when you go in and click on to my latest posts, you have your latest post here with your tags, which are football and victory, and with the date that it was inputted, and your uh, categories that you have running down the right hand side. Okay, so hopefully that explains things of how you can continue to add posts to either your different curricular areas or your achievements or your learner statement.